Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and today is Thursday, March the 2nd, 2023. The tarot card for today is the Emperor, and this one is from the Out of Hand Tarot by artist Jamie Sawyer. It's a companion deck to her Pocket of Peers deck, and I, I just I just love her work, all right? She's on Facebook and Instagram, and I do hope you check her out. Now, I gotta say... Do you notice a theme here? Yesterday, Knight of Wands. Bring her a change. Fire, right? It isn't even Aries season yet, but we have so much to talk about. And here's our Emperor. Just take a look at all those rams going across the card, right? He is Aries energy personified. And honestly, the way he's putting his fist down, it's kind of like, because I said so. He is that authority figure. He is that father figure. He is generally an immovable object, okay? And uh, there is so much. Yesterday I brought up the two conjunctions which are taking place today, both which are extremely important. And the first one is happening in the sign of Aries with Venus and Jupiter coming together. Have you seen that in the sky? So many of you have been posting pictures. Now, you know, it, it just, hmm. the, the emperor wants you to be responsible, okay? He wants you to build a stable foundation. Venus and Jupiter want you to have everything your little heart desires, all right? Seems like a good combination going on here. And I feel as though as long as you can prevent the overindulgent side of Venus and Jupiter to, you know, keep that over-the-top energy out where you can get yourself into trouble. I think this can be a very, very good thing. Now, that's not the only thing going on. The other conjunction which is happening is between Mercury and Saturn. Mercury, of course, is more mental, thought, communication. And Saturn is kind of reminds me of that fist, you know, saying, right? The restrictive influence of Saturn which is now at 29 degrees Aquarius. And here I am pounding my fist. What lessons have you learned? What are you ready to put into play? Because this feels solid when you look at this card. For the long term in your life, it's time. It's time to be doing things which will create change. Not all change comes overnight. But when you set new practices into play between Venus and Jupiter and Mercury and Saturn, you can benefit from them for a very long time to come. And I gotta tell you, like I said yesterday, Aries season isn't even here yet. And when it does arrive, it's going to be huge. So do make sure you have listened to my March Love and Finance because I cover a great deal there. And this is one of the biggest months in a very long, long time, like years even, and you don't want to miss out. Coming up tomorrow, and it should be mentioned because it's very much a part of everything which is happening, Venus, which is in Aries, will be conjunct Chiron, the wounded healer, which has been in Aries for a long time. So with all the things you have going on with this Emperor card, you are able in the areas of either love and or money to affect some sort of healing. And again, I mentioned this yesterday, knowing what Aries energy means for you. Hmm, yeah, this is a big, big deal. I don't think I can emphasize it enough. And this emperor feels like one of the most solid emperors I've seen in a really long time. If he's putting his fist down, it's because he wants you to have everything you need to carry you for a long time to come. I want to thank you all very much for being here. I'll see you here again tomorrow. And as always, have a great day.